The state of working people, our families, and our communities is very different than what we'll hear tonight. The President is more interested in rolling back the progress we've made to raise wages, welcome immigrants, and expand health care to millions of Americans. More than 64 million Americans can't even make ends meet, even though they're working 80 to 100 hours a week and two and three jobs. 800,000 Dreamers and their families are living in fear that they'll be ripped apart from each other, and several hundred thousand TPS recipients who have worked hard and built lives here in America are terrified that they will be sent back to a country that still hasn't recovered from war or devastating national disaster. But we can and will turn our country around. Millions of SEIU members, Fight for 15 activists, and members of our communities are joining together to demand a better life and more good union jobs. Brave Dreamers and TPS holders are pressuring their members of Congress to pass a bipartisan solution that keeps families together. Men and women of all races are fighting to restore voting rights and enfranchise returning citizens. And people from Alaska to Maine fought back against efforts to take away their health care and gut Medicaid, and we will keep up that fight. Together, we will keep rising up to improve the lives of working people. If members of Congress do not hear our message, working families will elect leaders this November who will stand shoulder to shoulder with us to improve our lives. Together, we will drive the turnaround that our country needs beginning in 2018, moving on to 20 and beyond.